Now, guys, we all know that um, these particular Pokemons were revealed, um, well, I think last week because they were day of mine. But now they have been officially released, and let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? It's she, your boy, Sparky CJ, back again with some more Pokemon Sun and Moon news. Our starters, I don't know why I did it like this. Our starters have finally been fully evolved, plus some other stuff and new stuff that have not been leaked at all. So let's first off check out my man, well, not my Pokemon, but, uh, Desidu I Desirai, I guess. Um, the Arrow Core Pokemon Grass and Ghost. Now, um, that's the one thing that was not revealed with the typings. It was avoided for the final evolution. The final, it was revealed the way they look, but it was not revealed in terms of the typing. Now he's no longer Grass Lion. He's Grass Ghost. Now let's read about this guy. The Pokemon is able to move about while completely masking its presence from others. Once an opponent has lost of its lost sight of it, Dusuai, Dia, Dusuai, sees the chance to attack his un its unawares. Oh, unawares! Uh, and, uh, <laughs> in a tenth of a second, that's quick. Dusuai plucks an arrow quill from within its wings and sends it hurling toward its target. Its speed is astound astounding. But not more so than its precise aim, or more than its precise aim, which enables the arrow coil to pierce the target through and through from half a mile or more away. That dude is an archer, bro. This guy usually acts very cool, but it can become terrible fluster in unexpected situations like a spot attack. A skilled this UI can boast acrobatic curve shots. It seems it seems some are also able to shoot arrows that reach. Through the sky, only to come drifting down from above, piercing multiple targets one after another. Spirit Shackle is a ghost type physical move that only this UI can learn. An opponent hit with this move will become able to flee from battle or switch out for an ally. Now, comparatively, I would think that this thing gotta be fast, you know. What I'm but I mean, when you switch, it's gonna let you switch. It's not like pursuit, you know what I'm saying? So. I think the way I think this way had bro, you you can use that move very competitively, well, not competitively, competitively yes, but strategically is um, you know I guess you predict your opponent to switch into a certain Pokemon and then you go for that attack so now your opponent can't double switch. You know what I'm saying? I think oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think you know what I'm saying. Um, but other than that, I like design. You know he, he's I guess supposed like, he is supposed to be an archer. He's now on the ground. He did, well, he probably still flies, I guess, but he's not flying type. But yeah, I mean, but that's, that's a good thing though. Well, that's not a good thing. That's the interesting thing is since it's no longer a flying type, cannot learn to fly. But then again, HMs might not long, might no longer be in the game. But it has, uh, I guess, you could technically been that can technically been confirmed. But yeah, that is this guy, the evolved the final evolved form of Rowlet. Now to my boy. Finally evolved from a lit, and the name is Asinaror. The heal Pokemon. He's bad, he's evil, he's not good, he's heal. Fire and Dark. As its fighting spirit increases, the flame that Asinaror produces within his body bursts from its navel and waistline. Since the flame somewhat resembles a championship belt, they're known as its flame belt, and the Pokemon leashes moves that can use flames from it. And the heat of the battle, Incineroar shows no co no concern for the opponent, and sometimes even launches attacks that strike the opponent trainers, holding trainers. Holy crap, this thing has no remorse, bro. As a result, many tend to dislike its Pokemon and keep it keep it at a distance. If a crowd watching it battles is look, if a if a crowd watching it battle is poured, is pumped up, is pumped up. Um, Incineroar finds spare will burn brighter. But a lackluster crowd can make it lose focus or fight short, shortly, shortly. When it reaches, when it receives the admiration of young Pokemon and children, it may keep up, keep up its cold attitude on the, on the outside. But in its heart of hearts, Incineroar is immensely happy, immensely happy. It loses its desire to fight when faced with a Pokemon that could be weak or injured, and it sometimes give it, get, gets taken advantage of as a result. Darkness lateral. It's a dark type physical move that only Incineroar can learn. 
and it allows the Center Lord to deal damage while ignoring the effects of any status changes that the target might otherwise be affected. Now it's just like um, the ability, just like the ability unaware, but it's a move. How strong is it? If I had to guess, I'm gonna go with base 70. Base 70, 100% accuracy, dark type move. Let's go. This and you know this is all this guy has to be physical because I mean his physique. He's a wrestler, man. Um, I wanted I wanted if people pick Lynn, they're gonna call this guy John Cena or any other particular names that comes to mind. But yeah, that is your boy at Cineroar. Love the design. Let's go. Cause for me, I never really had a problem with fire fighting. Cause I, I never picked the fire type. That's why I never had a problem with it. Next up, Papa Bill's final Evo Premier Arena. No, from Pamaria. Pamaria. Pre Pre Premaria. I'm gonna go with that. The Sol Solus Pokemon Water Fairy. As it dances, Primaria releases balloons of water into the area around itself, moving them using the sound waves from its voice. The sight of moonlight reflecting off its glittering bubbles creates a magical scene. Since Primaria controls its balloons, losing using its voice, any injury to its throat can become a grave problem. Its greatest enemies are arrayed, arrayed environments and the overuse of its voice when during back-to-back -back battles. Among the balloons that Primaria releases, some explode when touched, while others do not. Primaria jumps on a knot, exploding balloons while they make sort, make sport of their opponent, and they use the exploding variety to trigger chain explosions. Primaria's songs have very have many varieties, and each one changes the motion of the balloons. It has been observed that songs are shared among Primaria's living together, so different colonies and. and Oh, it, different colonies end up knowing different, different songs. Sparkling Aria is a water type special move that only Primaria can learn, and it heals the burn of any target it strikes. Now, that's one of like, when you look at the move, well, uh, well animation, all three of those guys, all three of their special um, signature moves have good animations, but the move itself doubles if a Pokemon, if, you're, if your opponent is. If your partner's Pokemon, does your of your other Pokemon can take the hit just to cure the burn? Um, but other than that, I mean, I mean, if you, I mean, I guess gut. I mean, I guess one thing you say guts boost. Oh, you're a burn. I'm gonna use this now. You no longer get the game. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, signature move, good animation. What it does is effect. In my opinion, not that good. It's, it's, it, it, it wouldn't make sense unless you do. I mean, if you use it in certain cases besides guts, other than that, it's like you want your partner, you want your opponent to be burned. But here is one of two new Tampu Guardians. One of my favorite ones, to be honest, Tampu Bulu, the land spirit Pokemon with the ability Grassy Surge. Tampu Bulu has the power to manipulate vegetation. It causes it to grow. It can use this power on its horns, which are made of wood, changing their shapes by making them larger. This can come in handy in battle. This stalu, stolid Pokemon is not very active. People's opinions differ on whether it's a docile as it seems or if the reason doesn't move because, oh, if the reason it doesn't move much can be chalked up to simple laziness. Tampa Bulu does not like unnecessary battles frightening other Pokemon because of this. It makes a loud ringing noise from its tail to alert those nearby of its presence. Although Tapu Bulu may not like to start battles, it shows no mercy when dealing with evil dwellers. Evil doers. It said that when these ones broke into its ruins, it's punished them by swinging trees around like massive clubs. Good lord, this guy's strong. Tapu Bulu can learn nature's madness and attack that slams the target with all nature's rage which reduced the opponent's HP by half. Tumbulu's ability is Grassy Surge. With Grassy Surge, the uh, field will turn to Grassy Terrain. With Tumbulu appearing in battle, boosting the power of any grass type moves used by a Pokemon on the ground and restores a bit of HP to them each turn. 
It also has the damage taken from the move Earthquake, Magnitude, and Boom Builders. I would, I would, um, this guy, this biology is going to be slow because his scripture is going to be slow but really, really strong. And by his ability, you know, it summons grass to rain and can heal. I'll, I, I was thinking, for some reason, I probably wanted to think people going to run more of a, a bulky physical attack. Well, you know, he's going to be physical, but like a bulky physical attacker item wise. I was thinking, for some reason, I was thinking leftovers for double recovery. But if not, probably, um, they determine what his defenses are like. If his defenses are okay, assault vest. Maybe, maybe you know, or you know, choice band life orb. I was trying to think more of a, a truly bulky set that double heals life orb and rest terrain together. Might be what people, what people could run on this guy. And I also like it. Yeah, I do like him. He's like a bull. And um, yeah. <laughs> okay, next one is called Tapu Lili, the last favorite Pokemon, Psychic Fairy. And on the ability Psychic Search, there is a legend which says that long ago, Tapu Lili once brought an end to war between the islands of Alola by scattering its scales and soothing the entire warriors. Tapu Lili scatters glowing scales that physically affects others, providing stimulation to their bodies and healing their illnesses or injuries. But these scales can be very dangerous as well, because a body can withstand can't withstand the changes brought about by contact with too many scales at the same time. It will scatter its scales over humans and Pokemon for its own enjoyment. While it is innocent in one sense, there is also cruelty in a way it causes brings others to ruins. If Tabaluli doesn't have much energy stored in its shell, it may lack strength to see victory in head on battle. With this in mind, it tends to prioritize not losing a battle over actually beating a foe and its skill at strict strategies such as reflecting status conditions on opponents. Nature's madness, we already know, they all can do the same thing. Um, psychic, type, oh, psychic terrain is a move that no blah blah blah. <laughs> it uses this to boost the power of any psychic type move. Used by Pokemon on the ground, prevent them from being hit by priority moves. That's what it was because in the trailer, um, Little Eradicate couldn't use Sucker Punch. Temple Lily ability is Psychic Surge. Uh, with Psychic Surge, the field will, be, will turn into Psychic Terrain. It appears about boosting yeah, just right. Just, I don't know why they double paste that. It's exactly the same thing. Yeah. It looks so innocent, but dangerous. Last but not least, is Tampufini. Land Spirit, Water Fairy, Misty Surge. This Pokemon is able to create a special water that purifies both mind and body. But Tampufini requires that supplicants which is to obtain the purifying water to demonstrate the strength to withstand the Tapu Fog. Many humans have tried to withstand Tapu Fini's Fog in pursuit of its purifying water. Among them, some uh, were some with evil intentions, which may be reason for Tapu Fini's sense of disgust and lack of interest in apparent, in apparent people. Tapu Fini is able to attack by manipulating water since it hates to risk harm to the subground battle, it prefers to create a thick fall that pits upon in a trance and leads them to destroy himself. Tapafini expresses remains light listless, even when it unleashes boots. Some people say that it might look this way because using its moves is so exhausting. The Pokemon's nature band is move. Yeah, yeah, Tapafini's ability misses Missy Surge. Uh, can turn Missy to rain. When Tapafini appears in battle, half the damage taken by Pokemon on the ground from dragon type moves, preventing them from being afflicted with status conditions or confusion. Now, with that, only good for doubles. The dragon part. Everything else, you can guess good in singles, but dragon type is immune to dragon, so yeah. That is Tapafini with the luscious blue hair. But there is one more. Pokemon that has been revealed. Actually, my bad, two more. Let's go to this one first. 
Alolan Persian. Classic Pokemon, Fur Coat, and Technician, Dark type. The brown face of Alolan Persian is a symbol of rich Alolan region, or of the rich. It is, and it is hailed to be a Pokemon of great beauty. It is such a dis distinct Pokemon of the lower region that all Persians are well protected. And street inspects <coughs> or inspections are required before tourists can be permitted to take one back to their home region. Persians is highly intelligent with an even opinion, higher opinion of itself. In general, it looks down on anything anything other than itself. It does not need it does not tend it does it doesn't tend to grow attraction to its triumph either, so it's a difficult Pokemon to have as a partner in battle. It's ex ex um, exquisites, not exquisites. Skeets. Oh, never mind. Coat. <clears throat> Shines with a glow of high quality and a chance both humans and Pokemon, for this reason, is exquisite. Exquisite. No, it ain't. I just said that word. It's a very popular Pokemon in the lower region. It usually pits on a refined act, but uh, <clears throat> but once a battle begins, it will indulge in the most underhanded tact of tactics, including surprise attacks, trickery, and even foul play. There is naughty personality causes it to unmess its opponents, and it often takes in <clears throat> taken in by their counterattacks. This thing just looks like it's just more cunning than the original. Look at that face. It's freaking round. Like a basketball or something. Now, truly, last but not least. <clears throat> Cosmog. The nubular Pokemon psychic ability unaware. The extremely rare Pokemon is known to only a select few in Alola. At one time, it is known only by the kings of Alola and their heirs, and it was called the Child of the Stars. The Aether Foundation is researching this unusual Pokemon, and one of the professors at the foundation recently dubbed it Cosmog. <clears throat> Cosmog is very um, cur cur <clears throat> curious and shows no fear of people or Pokemon. If you treat it with any consideration at all, it will take an uh, immediate liking to you. This personality trait often leads to it and leads into danger. Its gaseous body is so lightweight by it that it that it sends it sent flying when the wind blows. When light falls on this Pokemon, Cosmo absorbs it and grows. Now, <clears throat> there is another Pokemon. That is similar to this, that you know, it's similar to Solar Galeo, which is uh, we don't have the name for it, but it's like a it's like his face but upside down. And a lot of people thinking that those two Pokemon were like the pre pre Evo of Lunala and Solar Galeo, which is not true. So, well, it could be, no, it could be, no, it, it probably would, no, it would, it, it would, it would probably sit in the description, so it's not. Um, but I mean, if it was, that'd be the first time. We have legendaries that evolves. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm curious on the other one that looks like so good. I want to check out that guy. Could it be version exclusive? This one's for Moon, other one for Sun. We never know. I mean, we're not. We won't know. You know, until they probably. All right. I wonder if they eventually tell us like um the version exclusives, like every single thing. But we have. Um, that's actually one thing right here. It's the Pokemon exclusive moves. Z moves right there. You can see Tampa Coco create some crazy statue. Well, Avatar the thing. Guardian of Alola Z move. As a guardian's deity of Alola, the Tampu, the Tampu can use the special Z move Guardian of Alola. When using this Z move, the Tampu closes uh, closes the shell, and a huge Avatar appears from the ground to attack the opposing Pokemon. Dealing damage equal to 75% of the target's remaining HP. At least with this, that gives it a idea of how strong it is. I mean, it's that and then the extreme Eevee boost. Everything else is more like we don't know how strong it really is or what, if it does anything else besides what they do. But it's one last thing. 
Okay, thanks. Okay, two more, one thing. This is two more. Yep, here it is. Strong opponents in the battle tree. The battle tree where strong opponents await. Somewhere in the lower region, you will find the battle tree, a place where those trainers who have completed this island challenge or who are strong enough to have done so battle one another. All the trainers you can encounter at the battle tree are strong. It seems you might even encounter two battle prodigies from the Kanto region. Red and blue. When you look at Red's design, you, you can tell he's, you know, it's a lot it's completely different from I guess the way he looks in my let's say um Pokemon Generations. Not Generation Generations? No, whoa. Well, Chron not kind of Chronicles, um the the you can say we can say generation, you know what I'm saying? Or oh, when you look at when you look at blue, you know, about the same, you know what I'm saying? But here's the next thing. Scout partners to battle alongside you. At the battle tree, you can scout an opponent you want against so they can partner with you in the future battles. You may, you may be able to scout some familiar faces. It's so Cynthia with her gar 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 chomp. And last but not least, also they show Wally too. But, you know, you just have Cynthia right there. Last but not least, the Pokemon League. In the regions that have served as a setting for your adventures in the Pokemon series so far, the ultimate stage for battle has always been a place called the Pokemon League. Pokemon League is where the Elite Four, four Pokemon trainers with powerful Pokemon partners and the champion who reigns as the top of all trainers and weight challenges. A challenger who defeats the Elite Four and the champion will be hailed as a new champion of the Pokemon League. In a lower region, the setting of the Pokemon Sun and Moon, there is no Pokemon League yet, but it seems that there are plans to con construct, one, con yeah, con construct one on the peak of a certain mountain. After the growth you achieve through completing the Island Challenge, will will the day come when you also take on the Pokemon League to become the strongest Pokemon trainer? But yeah, that will be it. I'm very curious on one thing we know. Uh, well, we don't know for sure, but I mean, I will say that. Well, I will say that the Battle Tree will be after game. Pokemon League can also be after the game where one or once you can. Well, I think it's not. That's not gonna be. It can't be after game. It could be, but. Off the top of my head, I'm gonna say it's not gonna be after the game. You know, after you complete an X amount of Pokemon challenges, I mean the, the trial stuff, the trial yeah, trial challenges. You then they're ready. Be like, you know what? You can come challenge Pokemon League now. How is like how would this Pokemon League be constructed? Elite four members, a champion. I mean, it's gonna be a champion, but how are they gonna go about this? We have no clue. I am very curious. I wonder if we're gonna get at least one more. Ch um, well. It's the twenty seventh game come out on the sixteenth. I wonder if we're gonna get one more reveal and then that be it. Or this might be it. We just had to wait till the game come out and just figure it out for ourselves whether or not. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys later.